Alright, so I made a little thing. Uh, it can basically generate prime numbers inside of Minecraft. Just using a data pack, no mods. Um, and you have to keep in mind that you can't actually store uh, decimal point values inside of scoreboards. So everything that you do in like equations is automatically rounded to the nearest number. So that causes a lot of issues, but I'll explain how I made it uh, in a little bit. I'll make it generate a list of prime numbers right now from 1 to 500, and it'll do one number every tick, which means 500 ticks, and there's 20 ticks in a second, so 500 divided by 20, that's about uh, 25 seconds that it should take. So let's go ahead and activate it right now, and there we go, it just starts generating the prime numbers. So according to the internet, there should be about 95 five prime numbers between one and 500. So I'll let it generate the list and then I'll show you a copy I made of it uh, and that I pasted in Discord and we'll see how many there actually are. So as you can see, it's skipping over the ones that aren't prime numbers. I could make it display the ones that aren't prime numbers, but that's just stupid. And I could also make it display why it isn't a prime number. Like it shows a little uh, division, like for example, 500 isn't a prime number because 500 divided by 250 is two. Um, if you want. So this is the entire list, but we're going to open it in Discord here. Uh, and this is the entire list. It should, in theory, contain 95 lines. We count the lines and the result is 95. And how many prime numbers are there between 1 and 500? There are 95. So it's completely correct. That's no wonder because otherwise I wouldn't have made this video. But how exactly does this work? Well, it's using something I came up with myself about three years ago that I originally made in Scratch. Uh, I don't think I can find the project, probably I'll delete it. But the way it works is basically by taking the number, for example, uh, the number 450, for example, and then it goes through every number below that. So it starts by going 449, and it divides 450 by 449, and it checks if that's a whole number. And if it is a whole number, that means that it's dividable, meaning that it's not a prime number because you can divide it by something else than one or itself, right? Um, now, in Minecraft, and Scratch this works, by the way, but in Minecraft, there's a couple of issues with this. First of all, if you were to divide this and check if there are decimal points, it doesn't work because Minecraft rounds it, meaning the decimal point gets completely lost. And the way we're going to fix this is by first taking this 450 and multiplying it by for example 10,000 so we're gonna add a couple of zeros doesn't really matter how many and then we're gonna take this number and divide it by our 449 again we don't have to do 449 times uh, 10,000 uh, although of course this is still gonna be a rounded number but it equals 10,022 right 10,022 is the result so we'll write that down and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another equation and this time we're actually going to do 450 divided by 449 and now if this is dividable, of course, 450 isn't uh, dividable by 449, but if it would be dividable, then the result I get from this, rounded by, rounded by Minecraft, back times that 10,000 should equal the same number. So for example, if I try this with something that's actually dividable, 450 times uh, 50, this works. If we do this, we of course get nine. And if we do 450 with a couple of zeros, divided by our 50, that will equal 900,000, right? Because we did it times 10,000. So if we then take this result, do it times 10,000, we'll get 90,000 and 90,000 equals 90,000, meaning uh, this is dividable, meaning it's not a prime number. So that's how we do it basically. Now, what you will also notice is why do it times 10,000, not like 100 or 1,000, why choose 10,000? Well, the higher that number, the more accuracy you get and of course the higher you can check for prime numbers because the higher the number that you're checking gets more the higher the chance that it will break because the decimal points of the divided number get so low that eventually they round down and they will equal the same and the game will think that it's dividable when it's not so basically in short the more zeros we add the more accuracy and the higher the number we can check so right now in the game i've set this to 10,000 and that lets me generate prime numbers from 1 to 500 perfectly. Um, it'll probably break around, I think, 700. Um, but you can also just up the value again, and that way you can generate even more prime numbers. Now, of course, there's also a limit to this because Minecraft can't handle numbers that are like bigger to the uh, integer limit. I think it's like 2 billion 
or something. Um, probably this number is like 2 billion. So in theory, if you do a little bit of math, you could find out how many you could max with this. If you set this to a billion, it just will not work because when you get to the number 2, it's already going to be 2 billion with your times a billion thing. So I'm pretty sure like a million might be the limit because then you could go to so 2 billion divided by 1 million. Um, before the game would reach its int integer limit, it would be 2,000. So if you set it to 1 million, then you can do 2,000 numbers, right? So this worked, but there was a little bit of an issue. You see, it is kind of inefficient and it kind of made my game lag. Uh, it doesn't right now because I actually changed it. Uh, and the way that we can make this more efficient, instead of checking 449, 448, 447 when we have the number 450, we can instead start checking from half of that number. Uh, let me explain. Basically, take the number 500 for example. We could, in theory, divide it by 499, see if that's dividable, it's not, okay, let's go to 498, and we keep going like that. But that's very inefficient, because if you know the number 500, you know that the highest divider of this number is 250, right, as a whole number. Uh, there's no number between 251 and 500 that you can divide 500 by. So in theory, when we're looking for dividers of 500, we should, we should really just start at the number 250, which is half of this, right? So instead of going uh, 499, 498, we'll go 250, 249, uh, and so on, which will optimize it, basically mean it's double as fast, which is very useful. If you want, I will put the code for this up on GitHub at some point, um, and then you can check it out yourself, see if you understand it, and maybe there's actually a better algorithm to find prime numbers. I'm pretty sure there is a better algorithm to find prime numbers than just checking every number below the half of it, but I'm um, not sure if they're so easy to code in Minecraft. If there's anything that I should fix with this, please tell me, I'd love to improve my code. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this little video and yeah, thank you for watching and stay safe.